previous lesson, we have discussed linear number patterns, meaning number patterns that has a constant difference between the terms. In this lesson, we'll discuss geometric number patterns. So in the previous lesson, we named every position in the number pattern. So two be called term one. Six would be called term two, because it's the second term in the pattern. 18 would be term three. And 54, term four. But now you notice that going from two to six, there's a difference of four. Between six and 18, there is a difference of 12. And from 18 to 54, there's a difference of 36. So this is clearly not a linear number pattern. But let us test what happens if I multiply by 3. So 2 times 3 will give me 6. 6 times 3 will give me 18. And 18 times 3 will give me 54. Now I'm not adding or subtracting by a constant value but I'm rather multiplying by a constant value. And this is the main characteristic of a geometric number pattern. It has a constant ratio between the terms. And instead of using the notation for D, which stands for constant difference, you'd use R. And as we have found D by subtracting term 1 from term 2, we can also find the constant ratio by dividing term 2 with term 1. So that will be 6 divided by 2, and that is equal to 3. And I want to test whether or not the ratio is constant. So I say term 3 divided by term 2. That is 18 divided by 6 is equal to 3. So now I can see that there's a constant ratio between the patterns, which also means that a constant ratio or a geometric number pattern has a different set formula. And the set formula is A times R to the power of N minus 1 where A represents the first term in the pattern. R represents the ratio between the terms. So the general term or the formula for this pattern would be Tn is equals to A, which is 2, times R, that is 3, to the power of n minus 1. And you can always test your formula. For example, let us see if we can find the third term using this general formula. If we are correct, our third term's value is supposed to be 18. So it's 2 multiply with 3 to the power of 3 minus 1. Notice I'm replacing n with 3. And if I simplify, I have 2 times 3 squared, which is 2 times 9. And that gives us 18. The general formula or the general term would also allow us then to find any term in the pattern. Let us say, for example, we want to find the value of the tenth term. There is 2 times 3 to the power of 10 minus 1. That is equal to 2 times 3 to the power of 9. And that gives us an answer of 39,000. 
366. It is important to know that the ratio doesn't have to be a whole number. It can be a decimal or a fraction value as well.